Good morning, everyone. Bonjour à tous. It's a great pleasure to be here. You know, um, 20, 21 years ago, I decided to leave Canada, and I went to live in the United States. But this last year, I moved back to Toronto. And thank you. And it, ins it inspired a new album that's coming out in the fall called The Return to Canada with Love. And we're going to play you two pieces. Um, and it's dedicated to, to my wonderful country and, uh, and fellow Canadians. And I especially wanted to thank uh, one of the most brilliant and original and visionary people that I've had the, the great pleasure and uh, fortune to know, Moses Naima. Moses, thank you very much for inviting me to be part of this wonderful idea city that I've been hearing about for so long. So shut your eyes and imagine you're flying over the north in Canada. Uh, it's called Spirit of the Canadian Northlands. northern lakes, in the northern forests. I feel you in the rocks, in the trees, in the sky, the rivers, the earth and the animals, in the heart of 
heartbeat of this mighty land. Toronto, I knew you long ago. Over the years, I've watched you grow. I've been away, but now I know. Toronto, I've missed you so. Vancouver, I lived here once before. Wandered up and down your western shore. And those rainy streets that I lived Says I knew you well. Every fishing town and small hotel loved your sandy coves and salty smell. And the fog I remember well. Canada, oh Canada, oh how the years have flown. At my days, at my Thank you for bringing.
your great accompanist. Michael Savona. Michael? Michael Savona. Michael Savona. Thank you very much. Michael. <laughs> Leona. It would be okay if I ask you a question or two? Sure. Well, of course, we're all familiar with your uh, history as a classical guitarist. We know that you play the great repertoire. You sold a million zillion records. Mm -hmm. This is a new sound a new for you. In my life. Yes, and I wanted to ask you, what is task-specific Focal dystonia. Can you hear me? The mic here? Yeah, right there. There we go. Moses just asked me, what is task-specific focal dystonia? Well, this is a good opportunity to tell fellow, any fellow musicians. I was a virtuoso, as you know, played all over the world with symphony orchestras and had this amazing natural technique. And um, about 10 years ago, my fingers just were not behaving themselves, the right hand finger, especially this one finger. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> and uh, I was very puzzled. I thought it was something physically to do with my hands, then I thought it was psychological. I went to every witch, doctor, hypnotherapist, wacko, you name it. I, I was even went to Scientologist for a month. <laughs> um, anyway, in the end, the doctors at the NIH told me that, no, this is a, it's called musician's focal dystonia. And if you play too much, I was always in love with the guitar, the neuroreceptors in the brain actually wear out and the brain maps become smudged. So the right message isn't getting through to the fingers. There's nothing wrong with my hands at all, but I was having a real struggle. I couldn't do arpeggios. I couldn't do tre my beloved tremolo, which was, I was known as Miss Tremolo in the guitar world. Anyway, I found a solution. I decided to sing, write songs, and I reinvented my technique. At, at the beginning, I worked just with a pick. But now I'm actually still playing classical concerts, and Michael and I do some classical duos. We just um, flew in from L.A. We did a concert there. So it's not quite the same. I don't have the technique that I used to have. But I think life sometimes gives you these curveballs, and it's, looking back, it's the best thing ever because I'm so excited writing songs. Olivia Newton-John just sang on one of my songs the other day. Last week I was in Florida recording her. And I've done a lot of patriotic songs for Canada, which has really inspired me. So, you know, something that was my personal tragedy for a while now is the greatest blessing. So that's, that's a lesson for all of us boomers, zoomers, right? right. <laughs> we have to reinvent ourselves. <laughs> Thank you.